We are going to show you how to chip bud apples, which is a process of connecting two plant parts, a single bud from one plant, to the rootstock of another so that they can unite and grow together. It's similar to grafting, but has a greater success rate, and, because you can do it in the fall or spring, there's a greater opportunity to start your budding. Your plant can gain a lot of the benefits of the rootstock that include size control, like if you want a dwarf variety, cold hardiness, protection from pests and pathogens like powdery mildew, applescape, and fire blight, and enabling the plant to tolerate poorly drained soils. The cyanwood is a branch that has numerous buds which you'll use to bud onto the rootstock. Unlike with grafting, budding is a more economical use of cyanwood. This is the orchard where we collected ours. These are the steps that you'll follow to chip bud. You can pause the video here if you'd like and write them down and then continue watching. When you're collecting your cyan wood, you want to choose branches that are one to two years old and dormant. Before you start budding, you'll need cyan wood, rubbing alcohol and cotton, the rootstock, budding rubber, parafilm, cups of water to prevent desiccation after you remove the bud, sphagnum peat moss, a black bag, and a grafting knife, which you'll need to clean with the alcohol before you start. First, you're going to hold your knife at a 45 degree angle, perpendicular to a smooth section on the rootstock, and then gently rock your knife back and forth. Then, you want to move your knife about half an inch up from there, and turning it almost parallel to the wood, make a slight incision, and then pull away with your non-knife hand. Be careful when you're doing this, accidents happen. This procedure will be the same to remove the bud from the scion wood. Here are the buds and rootstock. Make sure that they're about the same size and that you can see the vascular cambiums or outer rings on each. Next, align the vascular cambium, making sure that they match on at least one side. And if necessary, make adjustments to your cut like Victoria is now. If they're aligned, you can wrap the cyan wood in place with parafilm, trying not to smother the bud. And when that's finished, you can wrap the bud with a budding rubber, but make sure not to cover the bud with it. Before you finish, wrap the rootstock with sphagnum moss and keep it in a black plastic bag. About three to four weeks later, you can check your budding unions, and hopefully you'll notice that callus has formed around the edges of the bud and that the bud itself is green. If it is, you can pot it. One week later, rootstock will send out shoots. You should prune back any vigorous growth. And remember that even though it might look successful right now, the budding could still fail. Sometimes the union doesn't heal properly or environmental conditions affect it. The good news is that apples are very forgiving, so keep trying. <laughs>